Arab al Rashaydeh is a Palestinian Bedouin community in Bethlehem Governorate, located 18.7 kilometers southeast of Bethlehem City. Arab al Rashaydeh is bordered by Kisan village territories to the east, Kisan village and Amos settlement to the north, Sa'ir town territory and Hebron Governorate to the west, and Bani Na'im town territory and Hebron Governorate to the south. Arab al Rashaydeh falls within the region identified by the Oslo Accords as a natural reserve area, but in reality it falls into Israeli classified area C. During 2012, the Applied Research Institute Jerusalem launched a three year project to alleviate poverty and improve the living conditions of some of the poorest based Palestinians in the West Bank. This is being achieved through the provision of renewable solar powered energy to target destitute households in order to build social progress and improve lifestyles. 18 socially and economically marginalised families without electricity will receive solar panel lighting for their homes, whilst a further 300 households will benefit from the reception of solar lamps. All targeted families live in poverty in small remote communities within Bethlehem Governorate, comprising of semi-nomadic Bedouin herders. My name is Mohammed Youssef Khalil from the Al Rashaydeh. Before having the renewable energy, we used to light up with gas-led lights. I have four children who are in college and it was hard for them to study at night time. After we received the renewable energy, thanks to God, they now have access to a lighting system at night, where they can use a computer to study more efficiently. In addition, we now have a television, a washing machine and a fridge. Thanks God, it is as if we are living in the main urban city. Testimonies such as that of Mohammed Halil show the benefit lighting can have on the education of his children, in addition to the lifestyle experienced by the entire family. For example, the provision of electricity to run a fridge will improve his family's diet, whilst ensuring food is stored safely and hygienically. Faleh Ahedewe from Arab al Rashaide. My children, grandchildren and I live together in a house of more than 50 persons. When the kids used to lay down to study at night, they would barely see using the gas-led lights. However, nowadays when the kids come back from their schools, at night they can read and complete their homeworks. Before we had the renewable energy, the scorpions used to bite us as we wouldn't see them. We now use flashlights and lighters to locate and kill them, as we can now see when they are approaching us and we can stop them. From Mr. Ahadewe's story, one can see how the provision of lighting has multiple benefits for target households. In his case, safety within the home has been greatly increased for his children and grandchildren, and they have enhanced opportunities to study in the house. Maha Salem. Before we used to light using the gas light and outdoor fire, the situation was not good. Now we benefit a lot more. Kids who are at school study better. My sister is in high school and my younger brother is in the 11th grade. We have benefited a lot. We can now operate a washing machine, a television. We can run a butter churn and we benefit a lot from it. Now the women are more relaxed in daily home duties. Before they used to clean clothes using their hands, now they use a washing machine. We have developed a lot. My name is Flahav Musa from Al Rashaydeh. We consist here of four families living together. Thanks God for the renewable energy. Now our life is better. We can see things at night. Before, we used to live in complete darkness. Now we watch television and we can light to check on our animals at night. We used to use gas lights and set wood on fire, which is not easy to find here. And you see, it used to cost us a lot, but now it costs us nothing at all. This testimony shows how large extended families already living in poverty have saved money through the provision of electricity and can use improved lighting to assist them in animal herding, as well as improved development and lifestyle in the home. This clearly represents a vital development program as the access to electricity can make a significant impact to the achievement of the 8th Millennium Development Goal. The project will run until 2014 and continue to benefit the developmental status of families such as those interviewed in this report. Arij welcomes any comments or feedback on the contents of this report and looks forward to working with further in-need families in future planned programmes.